it has been quite some time since we have played. Uh, just our standard month, but it feels like forever because of how yes. busy everyone has been. Um, so, uh, life. Panin, i.e. Rain, i.e. Storm, um, <laughs> can you give us the recap of what happened last time? Oh boy. So we went to a gathering where we saw the priestess and Tallinn was trying to spill coffee on her, but they cast an invisible umbrella. So it fell on Tallinn and another cosplayer. Um, I think whose name was Sol, who was a goblin slayer in cardboard. Um, let's see. We returned to the Chain Company table uh, to try casting Channel Divinity on the two thralls with the uh, Tolan sword. Um, Vea got to see Tolan as the beefy armor version of himself. Um, <laughs> so I did uh, some detect thoughts and could still hear like chains rattling and a man's voice saying, I miss you. Um, basically, there were like three out of six of the people that we know had business cards in that area. Mm -hmm. Um, then we were continuing the scavenger hunt. We ran into the bookseller with magical girl costumes. She had the Madoka at her shop. Uh, Tolan bought a bunch she of books. She was wonderful. I know. I love that. Um, we got some I girls. really want a magical person book now. <laughs> um, we had some amazing texting fails between Tolan and the drow. I <laughs> still don't think he knows her name. Um, but they ended up on a ramen date and the rest of us sneakily followed, not so sneakily. Um, <laughs> he did well enough. Tolan didn't notice. <laughs> That's very true. Um, and then we found out a little bit more about the drow that she has a rough home situation, has to kill and overthrow her father, um, that <laughs> he is Demi and Tolan's classic line i'm not gay i'm awkward um, <laughs> i need that on a shirt i need that I on a shirt <laughs> um let's see we uh, are just need like a to... buy an awkward shirt <laughs> yeah. yeah yes as tolan's first date ever oh um, and he's been engaged <laughs> Wow. So, that's oh my God. that poor shop poor owner. Uh, so afterward we made a plan to basically annoy the priestess to keep her from giving away cards, kind of like hound her as annoying fans and go after the monokuma plush that she's got where she's keeping all of her cards. Um we I think ran it, like into, ended with Yeah us in like the hallway or the elevator uh-huh oh yeah and um, tolan was just like pretending to be like a pre-coffee tolan or pre-coffee frederick yes <laughs> yeah, I, yeah i think that's that that mm -hmm. so all right uh yeah uh as far as the treasure uh treasure hunt kind of goes you i think you guys got the attack on titan cards yeah we didn't mm -hmm. run into mm -hmm. a cosplayer that was doing like sleight of hand and selling books um so we get we got their book and we got the giant bowl of ramen the ramen pot yeah no. so we are missing the sword on the tree and a Batman. statue of man bat man bat and the cosplay trophy yep just those three perfect okay um so i'm going to guys i'm going to send you guys a link do not look at it yet um but depending on how the session goes today we may be able to uh get to that um, okay. so while I'm getting that ready to go, you guys are sitting in the, um, you guys are sitting in this elevator. You've got the, uh, once cleric, now Junko cosplayer. You found out that she's on the same floor as you guys. Um, and you see that a majority of her cards are in her Monokuma stuffed animal. Um, and she's just kind of been a little cheery. She's getting like pretty excited. She, uh, she's just chilled out and ready to kind of just go out and do her own thing um what do you guys want to do from here Ooh. i mean we probably want to let her get a little bit ahead of us i 
I really hate that she was nice. I know. Like, I kind of wanted her to be a jerk. Not kind of. I really wanted her to be a jerk. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Tolan is not allowed to make plans. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cards are in her monokuma. Is there a way we can distract her and maybe like cut out the bottom and steal the cards out or... I mean, I think, I, th- I think we talked about maybe um, while I'm just fawning over her Drexel cutting the bottom of it. Mm. Was that the plan? I think, I think so. And then hopefully things just spill out. That'd be, that'd be good. The question is if she notices it spilling out and then just turns around and picks them up. Right. This is the big issue with that plan. We have to get the cards if we want them to actually be not just picked up by her. So a a really good distraction? (laughs) (laughs) Accidental fire? Um, that may be a bit much. Uh... (laughs) Again, I'm not, I'm not allowed to make any plans because my plan is Tolan pretends to sneeze <laughs> and then, oh shoot, fire. <laughs> but that went poorly with the coffee and I don't want it to go poorly with the actual fire. Uh-huh. You're just going to be like, really what is up with place. this person who keeps having these disasters around me? <laughs> oh my gosh. He's cursed. <laughs> just very He's cursed. <laughs> um yeah i mean i can help with any like minor illusions that might be be uh of assistance i don't i don't know Mm. just need to make sure she's distracted enough she's not going to notice if we you know take the cards out right I mean, Draxel, do you think you could get into her bag? Or would someone else see that? I mean, that's that's the thing. It all depends on where she's at, where everyone else is at. I can be stealthy, mm. but... Do we have, like, Pass Without Trace? I do have Pass Without Trace. Oh, yeah, because you could do that, just be completely invisible and just invisibly take all of her cards. Well, I can't go invisible. <laughs> that's That's just... <laughs> Plus 10 to stealth. That's, I can't go invisible. Uh, Drax, <laughs> roll me a history check for me. Can I go invisible? Can I go invisible? <laughs> I don't think I can. 18. You remember you bought a potion of invisibility. I have all that <laughs> now. <laughs> no, I think someone else actually has that. I think somebody else has that, but you as a party. Like, you I as did. a party remember Ooh. you uh, have that. I can be invisible. Yeah. <laughs> let me... Oh shoot! Let me check my inventory. Okay. <laughs> if I have it, I will casually like. Hang on. <laughs> Come on, D D Beyond. Where's my equipment? Mm-hmm. I can read. <laughs> I can't apparently. <laughs> <laughs> inventory. There we go. Oh, I don't have the invisibility one. I have. The fire giant strength and speed. Right. Now, who has invisibility? Because I took the heroism potion. That's the one I took. I Did Rain take it? I have the immovable rod. The like healing stone and evasion stuff. Oh yeah, the punch healing stone. I could have sworn the potions went to drags. Oh. Let's see. The healing rock is with rain. The ring of evasion is with rain. And... The, I think, proof against enemy detection? Yeah. Also went to rain. Uh huh. Well, I can add that to my inventory if needs be. (laughs) All right. It was sitting on like the, the, the hotel room floor and you were like, yeah, and you grabbed it. (laughs) 
Just like an energy drink or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot that Tolan also has a cloak of displacement. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it doesn't make me invisible, though. No. It just displaces me. I totes have that in my pocket. <laughs> oh. I have it tied around my waist. <laughs> just right. I'm, I'm just really happy I take notes. Um, yeah. Because there's a potion of haste that Tolan has. Mm-hmm. Yep, I got that. got that. And then I have a potion of mind reading. <laughs> Excellent. Yes. I also have a potion of fire giant strength. <sighs> nice. That seems. <laughs> Maybe I'm not allowed to make plans. <laughs> you, as, you as V-Fire are not allowed to make plans. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Okay. Save it. So, yes, Draxel can go invisible. Uh-huh. And be super stealthy. Okay. I think that's our plan for Draxel. Approach her with some follow-up questions then now? Before she can pass out any cards, or are we are we doing this now, or are we doing it later? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I I guess now is good. It's it's hard because, like, we want to be convincing, but we don't want people to get hurt. Tolan's still pretending to be absorbed in his phone. <laughs> uh, what's the general, like, vibe around? Are there, are there many people out? What are the... Um, so it's not, like, super early in the con morning. Uh, there's, like, a good chunk of people around. She has not yet, like, started handing out cards. Um, she seems to be uh, surveying the area. She's kind of doing the same thing that you guys are doing, of, like, just kind of, like, checking out what the what's the vibe right now. And okay. she... She's looking around. She sees, like, there's a couple of people that, like, you can see that she's kind of, like, got that predatory, like, all right, this will be someone I want to talk to later. That'll be someone I want to talk to later. Um, oh, that's creepy. It is. It is really creeping. It's off-putting because, like, when you ch- chatted with her, she had that very, like, positive, bubbly attitude. And then the longer that you're trying to watch her without, like, being conspicuous about it, she, uh, you can see that, like, her whole, like, demeanor has changed and shifted into this kind of like um just cruel and evil kind of just energy that's coming off of her mm. but i'll say she's like probably like a good 60 feet away from you guys you guys are like hanging out at like one of the little break areas at a craft table or something and um just making it look like it's just a casual morning and you guys haven't woken up yet mm. I love how she's a foil to the the other character. <laughs> Who's like the persona is an e-girl and then yeah. <laughs> Junko and then just like evil mean goth. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh. <clears throat> well. Okay, we could we could try that. I wonder. Uh, Rin, did you do mind detection on her? Yeah. The thought, det- thought detection? Yeah. There's like a billion change coming from her, right? Uh-huh. That was with the glasses. Or the- mm-hmm. Oh, those are glasses. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think when I... All right. It was something about, like, find the... Oh, right. There's a specific word for what we are. Like infiltrators or Infiltrators, something. yeah. Um, so, let's see. Find the filtrators. Stop Just the kidding. infiltrators, yeah. Um, it was really hard to hear anything else because there was just so much, like, chain rattling noise going on. But, like, that thought overall was just... It was like it was yelling. After after a little while, you do see that she like she gets up, she grabs her bag, she hoists it over her shoulder, and it 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 looks like it perfectly sits on her back the way that like one strap and then 
uh, Monokuma just like perfectly is back to back with her and she starts walking towards um, closer to like the entry of the artist alley, not necessarily aiming to go inside, but she is um, mm. just looking to like ch- chat with some of the people that are, are hanging out in that empty space. Go distract. Is this it? This, and, is this go time? Yes. Go time. Colin's coffee is kicking in. <laughs> Roger, you take the, the visibility potion and cast the thingy on you, and then you two go and distract, and I'll continue right. being Frederick. All right, I cast Pass the Lone Case. <laughs> okay. Vea, guide me. I'm going to follow Vea nice. then, I guess, with the distraction team. Drink the potion. <laughs> Guide you and not guide myself here. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to start. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to cast Pass Without Trace on myself. Yes. Wait for Vey to guide me, drink the invisibility potion, and yes. just start going. All right. Perfect. You definitely feel like that shadowiness fall about you as you, pa- you cast Pass Without a Trace. You feel the guidance, the uh, kind of like that focus of here's what I need to do, here's what we're going to do, and then as you down the potion that looks like it's completely empty, but as you drink the potion with with this much volume, it kind of unsettles your stomach, and it grows, and it it warms your whole body, almost as if it's, like, um, too strong of an alcoholic drink, but as you look down, you notice that you're barely even seeing your outline against the world around you. Um, it looked like you had something to say. Oh, no, I was looking at my dog. <laughs> let's, go, let's do it. Yeah, perfect, perfect. All right, distraction team, what are you guys doing? I'm just going to go ask her for further advice, is that? Yeah, ask her what, what panels she's on this weekend and if she can help on a specific project that I'm totally going to be working on. Naruto. Naruto, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's uh, go. You start it up. I'm going to be like kind of gripping my hands and kind of nervous. Uh huh. And then, yeah. I love it. Um, so, yeah, you guys make it up to to her. Um, Draxel, go ahead and roll me your stealth check. I believe an invisible potion just gives you advantage plus 10. Um, wow. Let me double check. Five Sounds right. Also, I'm the player. <laughs> uh, it just says you're invisible, so... Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't actually, like, grant advantage raw. Um, it's just you can't be seen. Okay. Then I'll say you're, you've got advantage still plus your plus 10. Uh Oh, I needed that. Um, so that is going to be a 30. That wasn't the natural <laughs> 20. With your guidance? No, that was a 15. I'm not using the guidance yet. Fair enough. I've got um, it up for a minute. So you kind of use the opportunity of, of Rain and Vea. Uh, Tolan, are you going as well? Uh, Tolan is still pretending to be pre-coffee Tolan. Okay. Or pre-coffee Frederick. So uh, Rain and Vea... But like... Guys- Go ahead. Close by. Sorry. Go oh, ahead. oh yeah. Sorry. He's just he's just close by, but not like, yeah. Okay. Um. So Rain and Vet, you go up to her, and she kind of like immediately shifts. It's not even like a I'm annoyed these people are coming back up to me. She immediately shapes uh, shapes back into that like bubbly, happy person of like, oh hey again, how are you guys? What are you what what is uh what's going on? What are you guys up to today? We're really good. Sorry to come bug you like again so soon after, but we forgot to ask you a couple things and you were just so nice and knowledgeable and we just wanted to pick your brain if you have a few minutes. Oh, uh, I definitely have a few minutes. Um, <sighs> You're I, so nice. Thank you. Of course. You uh, you look um, like you uh, have some, your, your friend looks like she has something to say. Oh no, I'm just really excited and you were you were so nice and you showed us how you did your hair and stuff. And and so I got really excited that, you know, maybe you had some other advice you could give um, because really I'm just, we're just kind of starting. Like we, we together made a really cool costume, but you know, it, it kind of took the life out of us. 
because it was so hard to do. And so, so I, I'm noticing things like all your pins and your details and the things in your hair. Like, I mean, what are those made of? Uh, oh, well, th thank you so much. And she starts going into a little bit more detail. Um, Draxel, what, what's your plan here? As she's starting to talk and give a little bit of that kind of like, mm -hmm. just, uh, I don't want to say inane, but just general uh, conversation of like, oh yeah, this is what I did for that. And this is how I'm doing this. Things along those lines. What's your plan? All right, so I'm looking at the structure of the backpack. Is it just like a zipper on top leads to the whole thing? Or are there many like different parts of it? It looks like the mouth is the zipper. Um, uh -huh. Because it's got like that half grin teeth, so that like it's using that as kind of a cover for the um, for the zipper itself, and then it opens up, and then you can reach inside and grab. It seems like it's one pocket. Oh, okay, okay. Um, and then my second question on the bottom, like kind of more on the bottom of the backpack, like where it's like stitched together. Mm -hmm. Is there any part that seems like it would be more natural to have wear and tear it that I can maybe just cut into that spot and be like, oh no, it's old, it's wear and tear. Um, like it might naturally fall apart. Yeah, no, that's a good question. What, um, based on the way that this uh, this backpack is put together, I'm gonna say not so much. It looks like it's more of a stuffed animal, and okay. um, you're not sure where like the stuffed animal seam is versus the pouch and the pocket seam. Okay. Is. So then I am just going for that zipper. Probably gonna grab like if I am going to be able to get it open to get my hand in there. Mm -hmm. Gonna grab like a cloth to like not touch skin contact to those things, but. Okay. Um, go ahead and roll me a sleight of hand with advantage. All right, and this is that guy. That's... Oh no. 13. <laughs> the face. <laughs> I, got, I got real scared, my dude. I got real scared. Hold a two and a four. <sighs> she definitely doesn't seem to notice anything. She definitely doesn't seem to be um, aware of any changes or anything along those lines. She just, she keeps talking. She doesn't miss a beat. Uh, Rain and Vea, you both don't even see like her blink or like flinch or anything along those lines. Um, she, she seems to be completely unaware of what's going on. And she goes, okay. And then I actually had to dye half of the wig for, for it myself. And that's, I don't know if you guys have done any wig dyeing in the past. We did hair dyeing, actually. Yeah, we, we like, we panicked because we forgot to order the wig. And yeah. so, so like, I chopped off all my hair and we dyed it with this, like, magic dye. But I kind of want to avoid doing that in the future, you know? Totally, totally. You know, not a lot of judges are a big fan of that. So I, I totally get that. Um, I, I actually, I think at my next con that I'm going to go to, um, I might see if like I can do like a, a wig styling because I it's a weakness for a lot of people and I and it mm. should be a strength. It's just a, an opportunity to practice something new. Um, yeah, so yeah. Helpful. So um, yeah, and then that's that's it was just basically like big old you know just more wefts and extra <laughs> wigs and I just kind of got them all together. And um, as you are reaching in, Draxel you notice this slight bite on your hand when you've reached into the pouch. What do you do? You're like, your hand's in the cookie jar at this point, and you feel like on the webbing between your thumb and forefinger, there's like a pinch. It feels like something is literally biting you. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. Okay. Well... <clears throat> no. Uh, I and it feels like something is biting me, but it's like getting right there. Does that mean this would be entirely like, too small? Do I feel like the other sides of his jaws, or is it just like extended teeth only? It feels like um, it feels like extended teeth. It's not enough to cause damage but for a normal person who's trying to like not do anything suspicious would probably like oh ah kind of reaction but mm -hmm. since you're there you're kind of like holding still um and once you feel that pinch it it catches you off guard and can i like retract my hand at all or is it kind of grabbing 
Um, yeah. Uh, go ahead and roll me just a constitution saving throw real quick for me. Ten. Ten? Perfect. Um, you just barely... <laughs> Waiting for him to pass out, like, <laughs> uh, invisible on the floor. <laughs> As you pull up your hand, you notice that there is this gnarly, twelve-legged spider hanging on. Like it looks like it's hanging in midair because you're invisible and you've got passed without a trace. But there is. I need four extra legs. <laughs> and it is holding on to you for dear life. Um, but again, she has not yet noticed it. I will say she rolled a three for. Oh her. my god. So <laughs> she has not she has not yet noticed anything. You, you guys have really got her distracted. Tolan This is this is her first time like describing this like costume for the first time, so she's like really into it. <laughs> yeah. Um Tolan, are uh, you're you're watching this from a little bit of a distance, right? Mm-hmm. Uh <laughs> yes. You see the spider just like hanging there and just <laughs> with 12 legs. <laughs> Why does it need so many legs? Uh, uh, okay, I'm gonna casually just kind of like walk up behind her, like ignoring like you know the conversation going on. Uh-huh. And uh God damn it, what is it gonna do? So if if you're walking up, are you walking up behind her? Yeah. Then stealthily as I can, the spiders, there's just gonna be a spider floating in the air slowly towards you. <laughs> get this off, get this off, get this off, get this off, get this off. Okay, I'm gonna. Like... <laughs> Quietly with both hands, grab the spider around its like abdomen, but like away from its mouth, mm-hmm. and yank. <laughs> Uh, go ahead and give me um, a sleight of hand check. Oh God! Skills. Dirty twenty. Hell yeah! Hell yes! Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> take both hands and you you kind of like grab it around the abdomen and you can feel a series of legs trying to like push you back and it's it's surprisingly strong it feels kind of like cat strength you know it's a, you know a cat's paw isn't going to be enough to actually push you off of a table but if you kind of let dead weight it it feels like there's a good strength behind it and as you are like squeezing down trying to yank down um uh it does draw a little bit of blood from Draxel but you yank down and let's see if she notices this. Oh dear. Remind me what oh you rolled Lord. again? 13? No, you dirty 20. Uh dirty 20, yeah. She is so caught up, but and and like trying to like wrap up this conversation with you, Rain and Vea, and she's like, so yeah, um that's that's kind of what I was thinking. Um and she she rolled an eight uh on her perception <laughs> check. Um uh, so, yeah, and she's just kind of, like, looking past you guys. It looks like she's trying to, like, eye a couple of people uh, for, like, behind you of, like, who who she might be able to talk to soon. So, actually, I was wondering, I have a project coming up, and I was hoping mm-hmm. you might have some advice for it. Um, it's Naruto, and but I'm trying to do all the tales. Have you ever <laughs> done anything like that? Oh, so you're trying to do, like, the Nine, nine Fox thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, um... You know, I it's, like. Oh, I've I, seen people try and they kind of like droop and look sad, and I I want them to look all cool and fanned out. Yeah, who's who's the one from League? Um, and she's she's got the nine uh, to fox theme as well, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't have any I don't have any personal experience, but I have a friend of mine, um, and we work together quite quite closely. Um, I can uh-huh. get you my card, and you can reach out to me, and I can get you her her information, assuming she's okay with it, because I don't want to you know I don't want to give out somebody's information if they're not cool. But if anything, then we can like stay in contact, and we can trade tips and uh, tips and tricks, and you can tell me how your your wig processing is going, and you don't have to you know dirty dye your own hair, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and you know, there's like. There's some things that, that, like, your hair right now that, like, hair can't do, right? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. just so much body to it. And it, it just yeah. it's almost annoying. 
Um, yeah, I mean, we got we got your card from uh, earlier in the elevator. Mm -hmm. um, so, do you want us to just message you there, and we yeah. can that, we can follow up? Yeah, that that sounds great. My my contact information is there. I I would love I would absolutely love that. That would be wonderful. Oh, you are so kind. Yeah, they are so nice. I mean, I have so many questions. It's probably like overwhelming how many questions I have. It's definitely <laughs> overwhelming uh -huh. me. <laughs> but you're just so nice. You're sitting here just, ah, uh, you know, thank you so much. Well, you know, anything to kind of help the community come together. You know, if we could just chain ourselves like a, to, as a group and we can become a strong link together, then I don't I don't see I don't see that there's a uh, um, a downside at all. Yeah. And, you know, that's such a strong sentiment, like really binding the community. Yeah. Yeah. You get it. Get it? Yeah. Um, Vea, go ahead and roll me a deception check when you say binding the community. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's trying to. <laughs> Just kind of like body language and whatnot. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Ten. You win. Whoa. By one. <laughs> Oh. I don't I have no idea why today of all days I am rolling so crap. Uh but it's working out in you guys' advantage. Um so she like when she started talking about her card, she starts reaching back. Um and Tolan and Draxel, you see her hand slowly reaching back towards her bag. And then when Rain says, like, oh yeah, we've got your card already, she goes, she's like, Oh yeah, all right, cool, perfect, all right. Well, you know, it's it's been such a pleasure. You know, feel free to message me whenever. Um, I've got some friends I was hoping to to meet up and catch up with a little bit later. So hopefully, I'll see you guys around the con if that's okay. Yeah. yeah. Sorry to keep you from your friends. <sighs> don't don't even apologize. And what was your name? Oh, my name's Leia. Leia oh, and. Storm. Storm? Well, I really mm -hmm. hope I get to see you at the oh. next con. Um, oh. I'll probably be back at BarkCon for sure, but hopefully we, we run up at some other con some other time. That'd be really great. Mm -hmm. And yeah. she, she walks off, and Draxel, you sit there, little 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 bit of skin missing. Um, Tolan's sitting there with the spider, and it's it's still trying to like push your hands away, but she walks off, <laughs> none the wiser. Oh my gosh. Oh... Am I still doing this? Um. Uh. <laughs> how, how do I feel? Do I feel any differently? Uh, you you do not feel any different other than just like a uh the the weirdness of being invisible and passed without a trace at the same time. Okay. You save you saved on its poison. Ah. Um, uh, uh. Okay. So we, I was like, he wouldn't be able to see it because, like, if his uh, hand was swelling, he wouldn't see it. Uh, <laughs> so is the spider the only uh, thing retrieved from the bag then? The only thing. I just kind of, like, pulled my hand out and it was still on it. How far away is she? Uh, she's she's walking away. She's probably um, 60 feet and and going. I wonder if when she gets to her friends, she might set her bag down. I've got an hour for both of these effects. Round two. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> you did get the cards. I do want to clarify. Like, you oh. just grabbed the cards. Oh! oh, so oh. oh okay. I'm so sorry. That's me. I thought we oh, got a okay. handful of spiders. So. <laughs> no. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> you just grabbed the cards, and just as you were grabbing the cards, the spider hung on to you. I'm so sorry. Okay. That's on me. <laughs> You have to okay. have the cards. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. I have an idea. This is Tolan speaking. Um, but let's go back to the hotel room because the spider's really freaking me out. Okay. And I don't know what to do with it. I don't know if she can talk to it. And I don't want it to reveal us. <laughs> Just like, is there like a rock around? I don't, I don't want to kill it. Why not? I have conflicted feelings. Um, it's adorable. I have like my big spell book, maybe. Looking at the spider. It's, <laughs> I don't want to squish your pet. It's very abnormal. It's got a lot of legs. Does anything else seem off about it? Does it seem like unusual? Do we know what this is? <laughs> for a spider. It, 
definitely seems um, aware, right? Mm-hmm. Like it seems it's not just like acting as a normal insect or arachnid. It like, oh no, I'm caught in a trap. Try to escape. It is trying to like turn and twist and uh, maneuver as you watch it, it. It definitely seems like it has some sort of awareness of its situation. Okay, okay. I'm gonna reach into my bag and get get one of the little leather pouches out of my herbalism kit and just like hold it open. I I'm gonna shove it in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you shove it in and it like it tries to fight, <laughs> but then like as you are pushing, it, <laughs> it recognizes like this is gonna break my legs. So then it like closes its legs to itself. You could feel it. It's heavy. It hits the bottom of the leather bag, and you cinch it up tight, and then it starts like trying to break itself out of the bag again. Ooh. Oh, sweet. Let's go back to the hotel room really quick. <laughs> I have an idea that I want to do, but it's with making that bright light stuff again. So, uh huh. Or at least we need to go somewhere where people won't see us do it. Okay. And I'm just like. I'm not going to put it back in, in my bag of stuff, so I'm just like, oh, there's a really cute spider. <laughs> it's fine. I, this is fine. So you, Colin's you an idiot and thinks it's cute. Room? <laughs> yes. <clears throat> okay. Um, right. Do we maybe not want to go back to our room quite yet? Like, if this is a communicative spider. Oh, yeah. Maybe we just uh, get like, Somewhere corner. little cafe where you got your coffee. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 Hiding so you guys head over to the VIP section. It's still just as quiet. Like it feels uh, like there might even be like some sort of silent spell around it. So that way, like it doesn't uh, have the same volume of the people coming and going Sweet. and shouting. Shout- just sounds muffled overall. Um, so you feel pretty confident that like you are in a secure, quiet place. Okay. Here's my idea. I cast Channel Divinity on the cards to see if it dispels whatever magic's on them. And then we take the cards back to her and be like, oh, hey, we lo- you, you, you drop this, or are these yours? I found them on the floor. Oh, I'm, I mean... With a scary spider over them. I don't know, but... <laughs> I guess it's worth a try. I don't know if it's got like some of that like crystal stuff that people touched before worked into it or if it's a spell or have we like done any magic on it to or done anything on it to detect it? Take, if take the spider, one of the cards out and if the spider can talk to her, it's gonna be like these D bags kidnapped me. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, we'll, yeah. we'll keep it kidnapped until after things are solved. <laughs> Sorry, spider. Sorry, buddy. Now, I think there is the idea that we have to watch out for, which probably might happen soon, is she had her cards. She left her room. She interacted with us, and now she doesn't have her cards. So um, if we can dispel the magic and get them back to her, that would be good. But I don't know how to dispel it. Well, I don't think any of us are high enough level for dispel magic. (laughs) And can you even dispel something from a magical item? Uh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try the channel divinity on the whole box. The box of cards. Yeah, I touch it. Okay, you (laughs) reach out. And it feels like there's this invisible barrier, magically speaking. Um, It's not actually preventing you from touching it, but as you bring out your channel divinity, you can feel that there's this... um, There's no better word for it other than just an evil presence on these cards. But as you push that energy, it feels like when you've got, like, um, water-resistant material, that chemical that pushes away water and as you put like your hand in it feels you can feel the water enveloping you but you can't feel the actual moisture or um the wetness coming off on the hand weird and you put your whole hand onto the card and slowly that that enveloping feeling 
starts to dwindle away. Can you roll me just a quick, like, charisma check? Just straight charisma. Straight charisma. I can do that. Uh, wow. Good job, me. That's my highest one. Nine. <laughs> okay. Um, so you kind of, like, push your energy into it, and you can feel that there's, like, this force pushing back on you. And you recognize that you have touched the crystals before. You have been affected by a little bit of this before, Tolan. So you are kind of aware that you are in a risky situation. And as you put your hands on the cards, you can feel that energy slowly receding. But you get this strong image in your head. Um, it's new to you. You have not seen this before, but it is wreathed in fire. It seems like a being of some sort, completely consumed in fire. And as its attention is drawn to you, you can see its golden eyes staring you down. And as, again, your charisma and your energy is pushing it back, you can see that image starting to, like, shrink, and then it seems like you're looking at it through a peephole. It's not gone, but it's it's weaker and it's smaller. That was weird, guys. What I, happened? I, I don't think I dispelled it, but I definitely think I made it weaker in the cards. Hmm. Um, hmm. I don't think it's gone, though. Those are the there's a thing with eyes that is creepy in fire. <laughs> like the eye of Sauron, but two eyes. Okay. <laughs> I double see you. I double see you. <laughs> hmm. um, do we want me to take the cards back since I didn't interact with her before? Um, do we want to take them back if they're still, if they still have that effect on them? They still have the effect it's, on them. It's a lot weaker, though. Yeah. I'd take a short rest and do it again. <laughs> but I don't know if we have that much time before she realizes that they're missing. Mm. I mean, is it a bigger threat for her to realize and come after us or for her to infect more people? Like, I I don't know. I would rather she not be able to, like, even have a small chance yeah. of getting someone else, even if that means that she knows that we're a target. Do, do we know, um, do we know Griefe's schedule today? Um, oh. it's pretty, uh, it's pretty focused on the cosplay competition, which will be in a little while. She's one of the judges, um. So she hasn't been posted for any uh, any panels today, but she is set to be a big part of the cosplay competition, mm -hmm. and then later tonight, part of the uh, the masquerade ball. What I mean, if maybe maybe we could before she starts actually doing stuff for day the day, run up to her and tell her, ask her what she thinks about this. Wouldn't be bad to touch base with her. Do we want to maybe figure out some disguises for ourselves in the meantime so we don't run into the priestess again? Wait, if I use the... No, no, never mind. I was going to say, I could use my displacer cloak, but I don't know how that's going to... <laughs> I mean, that just makes two toll lengths. <laughs> that just makes more of you. I... How long did it take us to to run to wherever we are right now? Like not even five minutes. It's it's across it's across the con floor, but it's been pretty slow, pretty chilled. A lot of people are like um, in panels or getting ready for the cosplay competition. Like they're trying to get good seats and whatnot. So I would say that like it took you not even like three and a half minutes to get from the, uh, the front of the artist alley all the way to the private dining area. Colin crawls under the table. I'm going to take a nap. 
<laughs> so, I mean, Draxel, you could run to wherever she is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I could try and find her because I'm still invisible. Do we get Griefe's opinion on this or what? It might be helpful because we know that she's involved at a higher level. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How long is a short rest? Short rest about an hour. an hour. Oh, dang it. Yeah. <laughs> Tolan's I mean, like laying under the table like, sleep, sleep, I mean, sleep. It, it, it makes sense that you had found them and then not been able to track her down for an hour. Well, I mean, especially like where she she said that she was going to go meet up with people. Uh-huh. Um, we could just not want to bother her. And, and, you know, after a while, just be like, oh, hey, you dropped these, but I know I, I kind of got the feeling that I was being a little annoying and they're just cards and you said you were meeting up with a friend. So I figured you weren't going to hand friends your cards. Because <laughs> that would be kind of weird. Or you spotted them on the floor later. No, we just didn't find them yet. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, if we want Griefe's opinion, I can go out and try and find it now while you guys are hanging out. I mean, we might as well make use of the invisibility while it lasts. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> All right. Drax will go ahead and, and roll me a, uh, what is it, survival for hunting? Yeah, use it for tracking hunting. Yeah. <laughs> Saxel's on the hunt. Six. Uh, oh, dear. You... <laughs> You're so dead set on, like, the tracking mentality, right? That you're <laughs> sniffing around, quite literally sniffing around. You're trying to stay away from, like, people's paths so that way, like, they don't bump into you while you're still invisible. Um, after after a little while, you, like, you, you feel like you're just kind of out of luck. You're not getting any any trails, any tracking. And you look up and you find that you, you are outside the green room. And lo and behold... Griefe is outside uh, in the green room, just t- kind of mingling with the other competitors. Um, you you lucked yourself into into heading and finding her. It could be convinced that you do did track her down though. Okay, so still. Austin, in the- you remember when uh, <laughs> the, our other campaign when uh, I kept rolling ones and ending up right at the place we needed to be. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And every time, every time I returned to that spot, I didn't know it was the important thing. I just drew my character's face on the wall. <laughs> yeah, lovely. That that that's what this is. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so you're still invisible. You've got uh-huh. like 40 minutes left. This has only been like 20 minutes of your day. Okay, you kind of like run up right next to her and just kind of like whisper in her ear. Mm-hmm. It's- we have contacted the targets. We need your advice. Gosh. And like, she's in the middle of a dialogue with somebody else and just like, yeah, um, you know, well, judging is, is such a different beat. I'm so sorry. I just had a small little brain fart. Um, <laughs> I completely lost my train of thought. Um, I think I need to go sit down for a moment. Just got a little lightheaded. Get some water in me. This wig is just a little too tight. Uh, whew. uh, where, 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 where should I go for that? Uh, where, where should I go? Is there just like a, like, kind of like a back corner around when no one's near? Yeah, definitely. Or like just... there's, there's like a slight entrance area to the stage mm. that you don't see any movement to. And it's, it's a dark corner. Yeah, just... <sighs> that spot over there. And like, realize I'm pointing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think I think for just for my, the sake of my head, I think I'm gonna go sit down uh, in that shadowy bit over there, just kind of where it's a little <laughs> bit darker. So if you excuse me, if you need anything, or if the con mom comes and finds you and needs me, uh, just just send them my way. Um, I just I the wig. It's early in the morning. I'm so sorry. And she <laughs> walks off towards towards the darkened section, and she kind of looks around and she goes. What stupid thing did you do? Uh, we kind of took her cards. Uh, 
And she pulls out from like her little bag and she puts on um these spectacles that like are perfectly uh circular. They don't cover like the full her full eye and she kind of looks <clears throat> looks in your general area where she heard your voice and <laughs> well you're not infected, so congratulations. Yeah. Doesn't seem like you're bound. Um It what... seems like Poland was able to make them weaker too. Where's... Like their magic's not as powerful. Oh, sorry. Where's Tolan now? Uh, at, we went to like a cafe, table? right? Yeah. The VIP I section. Think, yeah, VIP section. Small spot. Okay. Uh, I will meet you there in about 10 minutes, okay? Uh, I think that you just nodded. I'm going to assume uh, that you agree with me unless you've already <laughs> left like some Batman stuff. Like that's funny, clever. Super fun. No, no, no. Yeah, I'll meet you there. God. <laughs> so you, Draxel. you peel off and you head back. Um, and it doesn't it doesn't take long for you to get back to the group. And you can see like she's beelining straight for the VIP section. Um, and uh, anything you guys want to say or do before she gets there? Um. <laughs> Brain and Bear are just like talking about smut novels. <laughs> Poland's under the table being like, sleep, 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 sleep. <laughs> she, uh, she walks up to you guys and um, she goes, is, is your lizard friend here? I don't know. Is, is Poland still sleeping? Trying to. I'm, I'm going to be down there to whisper. Tolan. Tolan. What, Drax? Drax, all I'm trying to sleep. Oh, it's, oh you realized it was me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is your father. Um, all right. And she, Drax she, leaves a distinct voice. <laughs> she, she leans on the table like fists and knuckles on the table, and she's leaning over it. And she's kind of just disappointed with uh, with what she's been told. And she goes, you grabbed the target's cards. Is that, is that right? Did I get that right? I mean, she was hurting people with them. I'm not questioning the harm that she was doing. I'm questioning what you think your responsibility is, Vea. I don't know. You told us we could go above and beyond. Of course you can go above and beyond. Putting your life in danger is not what I had in mind. Well? <laughs> okay. Where are the cards? <laughs> uh, Rain, I'll just do a little ta-da where they were sitting on the table. <laughs> She, uh, she reaches again into the pouch. She puts on the glasses, looks at it for a moment, takes the glasses off, and then she pulls out this um, this black and white glove. It's got um, black fabric where the palm is and then white fabric on the back of the hand, and she reaches up and she grabs it, and she goes, um, I don't know, somebody, one of you touch touch the spot where it was sitting. T just touch where that... Where it, it feels hot. It kind of burns a little bit like you're touching a stove that's been off um and it was on high for a very long time doesn't like uh break skin or anything but like it hurt um oh. she 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 kind of like do what tell me what do you think is going on with these cards you tell me i you guys are you're uh going above and beyond even my own description so tell you all tell me what do you think is happening here in, with these cards specifically They're implanting an influence in people who touch them. An influence is a great way of putting it. Um, tell me, what are you familiar with fire elementals? They're hot. Very, very attractive. <laughs> like Ifrit, mm, yes. Every, every incarnation <laughs> of Ifrit in Final Fantasy 
Uh, that does it for me. So like she's being very dry, very sarcastic. That absolutely <laughs> is my kink. Yes. <laughs> Can I Colin, Colin's coming out, <laughs> coming out from under the table. What were you saying? Colin's coming out from revelation to have about you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, roll a history check. Okay. Colin comes uh, up from under the table 16. and he's all like, "You have weird kinks." <laughs> She kind of gives you a side eye um, uh, for both Tolan and Vea, and she just... Uh, Rain, as you are kind of, like, going back through and, like, thinking about um, what's going on with, like... I'm assuming it's about fire elementals themselves. Mm. Um, they come from the fire uh, the fire planes. Uh, they are the embodiment of the element itself. Oftentimes, they are small wisps of energy um, of that element, um, whether it's stone or fire or water. Um, sometimes they can be dangerous if they become too powerful and or have too much access to their source. Um, but, uh, yeah, they, they seem to be powerful creatures that could ruin someone's day really, really fast if you wanted to, you know, deal with living fire. Okay, good Good to know. I had an idea earlier to dump these in water, and now I'm like, maybe that wasn't a bad idea. <laughs> um, so here's, here's the deal. Every individual card of these has that imprint, that impression that you were all talking about. It's not just to persuade them or to weaken their mental defenses. It is to implant a piece of an individual... Fire elemental. Oh. How many... Do you know how many cards she's probably already handed out? Too many! Too many. Agreed. Agreed, yes. So, good job. I do want to say you are doing good. And it kind of pains her to say those words. You... <laughs> but... But it was stupid... <laughs> I, mm, you could have gotten really dangerous. Like, what if, what if she had spotted all of you? What if she had seen this? She could have, maybe she's waiting for just the right time to enact this plan. But what if she had to do this plan now? And we don't even know why she's implanting fire elementals into individuals. Like, you're doing great and it's frustrating. Uh, okay. Um... One second. I'm getting very conflicting vibes from you. If you if you have some suggestions on how we could cut this off at the source instead, because that's kind of what we thought we were doing, was instead of dealing with like people with elemental stuff in them, we're dealing with a pack of cards and maybe one pissed off cosplayer. And spider. And Oh, yeah. And spider? I don't know. It's like... I don't know. It's got 12 hey, legs. Can you talk to that thing? Uh, probably. I mean, I can talk to animals. Mm. Interrogate it. <laughs> See if it knows anything. Just hanging out in her backpack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, there's just this, this 12-legged spider in her backpack. Why does it have so many legs? Why does it need so many legs? I don't, I don't know. Eight's already plenty. But the right. thing is, we could figure out the people were being hurt. And, you know, yeah, what if it makes her, her start her plan now? What if, what if things get like dire? What if someone had told us, hey, these are some things you should avoid doing? I don't have any argument back, all right? Th you're right. You're absolutely right, Vea. And I'm sorry. This is a team effort, and I'm dropping the ball as a team because I didn't expect that I had to babysit, and then I'm not even babysitting. You guys are, are showing me up. Is that why you're pissed? No, I'm not. I'm concerned for your well-being. This is not a game, and I'm f very afraid that you guys are treating it as such. 
Poland's going to reach out and and take her hand and be like, (laughs) we are treating this seriously, but we also don't know what we're doing. (laughs) But you shouldn't think that we went into this lightly. You are part of our team. (laughs) We tried to talk to the people that were hurt. We tried to help them first. And when we saw that we couldn't reach them, we took the next step up because no one else was taking the next step up. And yeah. if you were, you could have told us you were, but you didn't. And we need your advice on what to do next. Which is why you're here. You, you are a valuable member of this team. <laughs> I want to be angry. And at the same time, I'm very proud of all of you. You risked your lives. <laughs> you're doing something that I don't think should be done. And yet you here you are risking everything to support others as as a as a being to being this is impressive this is awe inspiring and it makes me want to be better at what i do in our group i just worry i just i'm worried that's all it is and i'm sorry that my frustration is getting the best of me thank you vea for calling me out on my my bull crap thank you okay I'm sorry. Thank you. That's you are, fine. You are all doing wonderful. What have you have? Draxel just said that you could might be able to communicate to the spider, Vea. Is that actually true? Is that something that you can do? Yes. If it wants to talk, if I don't know. Wants to talk. That's fair. How big are we talking of a spider? Well, it's in this bag. Okay, and she walks over to the uh, the craft table, uh, not the craft table, but like the food table, and she gets like this <laughs> large, clear uh, vase, and she like throws the flowers out of it, dumps the water out, and she goes, <laughs> Draxel's right, let's interrogate it. I mean, I don't have to see <laughs> it. We don't have to take it out of the bag. Yeah, but it's nice to know if it can see us, and we can like impart fear upon it. That's kind of interrogation tactics. Okay. I mean, otherwise, it would just be my voice in its head. <laughs> uh, Jaguar Quinn says, take the energy you're using to, to worry and just, I don't know, get good. <laughs> no. Ouch. Um, <sighs> you do it your way. I'm, I, I, I don't want to tell you how to do your job at this point, other than I'm concerned and I want to help. Okay. It'll take me 10 minutes. Okay, I think we've got that time. Okay. And she will start ritualistically casting Speak With Animals. Perfect. Uh, Is there anything that the the rest of you would like to do in that 10 minutes? Or do we want to just jump into that? Oh, I'm good to jump in. Okay. Uh, Yeah. Okay. So (laughs) 10 minutes goes by. You've got the, uh, you took the time, conjured the, the energy, and you cast it. Um... And you hear, let me out of this stinking bag. I like his voice. <laughs> That's okay. I mean, all right. It, it's talking. So. Can everyone inter- uh, understand it? I don't think so. I think only you. What's it saying? It's saying it wants out of the bag. So. We got the vase. Let's take it out of the bag. Okay. I'm going to hold the vase like ready for it. Do we got hold, be- I'll, get, I'll get it out of the bag because I held it before. I mean, if the bag can open enough, we can just like seal oh, the top yeah. of the bag. And so dump it in, put that over it. Everyone, please be be ready to, like, catch this thing, because it's horrifying. Draxel and Vea, go ahead and roll me a uh, sleight of hand check. <laughs> yeah, take a deep breath and freaking guide myself on that. I am not great at this. It's my sleight of hand. 19. 19. Um, actually, not bad. Uh, also 19. 
Perfect. You guys are a swift team getting the, the, the vase out, dropping the spider in, wrapping the bag around it so it can't, like, crawl back up and out. Um, and it immediately, you hear it going, What is this? I will not be entombed in a case of glass and water. Look at me, vile mortals. I will be your reckoning. Oh, yeah, I mean, meanwhile, I know the outside's like, he's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's still drippy, but we took the water out. Well, thank you. You're welcome. About how much time has passed from the first invisibility? Uh, it's it's now like with the 10 minutes, you're at like a 40 minute mark. Okay, so I'm going to, the invisibility is probably going to drop soon. So I'm just going to let it drop. Okay. And I'll like right at like the spider's head. It's going to be like the open hungry jaws, like saliva dripping. <laughs> right at the grass. I was like, yeah, Drax on one side being all yeah. freaky and then Tolan on the other side, you're so cute. <laughs> oh, we're a bunch of dumb people. <laughs> so you're a pretty unique spider. Why, thank you. 12 legs, that's... Yes, I am Gavatich, Grimoire of the Ancients. Oh, is that why you were in a backpack? Yes, I was in my mistress's bag, ready to serve and hand out the darkest of arts to fill her well. Oh, but you're the powerful one, like the all-powerful one. No. No, no. Oh. I hold the information, she uses the energy. I am a grimoire. I is that is that word foreign to you? Grimoire. Oh no, I just usually don't hear it in the context of a weird little animal. I'm not I'm not weird. What? That's rude. How huh. you bit my friend. Sorry, I think I've earned being a little rude. <laughs> I, he invaded my space, alright? I and he could back off a little bit, you know, honestly. I just saw the cards lifting up. That's what my boss was telling me to do. Guard the cards. See them magically being picked up. Reach out. Get what I can. And then, lo and behold, here I am, held by that one who's now calling me cute. And, and now I'm talking to you. And I see a lot of mean faces. You're mean. Well, Tolan's not mean. He's the one calling you cute. And and rain's not so mean. Adorable. Is just hungry. Licking the glass, like letting the tongue slide up the side. Ah, <laughs> ah, ah, what do you want? Ah. We want a to. He's asking what we want, guys. And I mean, I think we just we want to know what's up. I don't know yeah. what's up with you. Okay, so he said that he's a <laughs> grimoire. I, I don't know, maybe like a familiar or something. And he was, I, I guess, protecting the cards. Uh, okay. Does he know, like, how the cards got imbued with the magic they have? Does he know? Yeah, uh, how how did the cards get imbued with the, the fire elemental stuff? Well, I could show you. I am a grimoire. I just need a little space to show you with my web. You know, I would rather at this point hear you say it, and then maybe we'll we'll move on. Okay, you're really missing out on some cool visuals. You so, know, I've got like this PowerPoint yeah. display kind of thing going on. It's really cool. But top notch stuff. This is fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's yeah. Fine. So he's saying he's saying he could show us with webs, but he needs a bigger space. And I don't know. I don't know that we have a fish tank. Insight check on him. <laughs> is he actually planning on showing us or is he just trying to run? Uh, roll that insight check, my friend. Uh-huh. Uh huh. This cock one's all my dice. 23. Hunter to hunter, you definitely know that this is a, a plan to try and run away. Uh huh, yeah, now. Okay, so yeah, just, just tell us. All right, all right, okay. Plan is, we imbue them with the ancient fire elemental at our disposal, and then 
impart it to the unknowing. Give them some fire powers eventually later on. And the stuff that he's saying, I will be repeating, but okay. I, yeah. So, yeah. So they have a giant fire elemental just at their disposal? Like a friend or what? Oh, yeah, What's you know, that? we go way back. He owes us a favor. No, he's our slave, and we own him. We rule <laughs> the fires that he consumes. Yeah, hey, that's really messed up, man. I'm okay. talking spider grimoire. What do you want from me? Uh, I mean, you're a sentient being with higher thoughts, so I would <laughs> like a little bit of common decency, but, you know, I guess that's asking too much. Can you tell us where the elemental is being enslaved? Yep. Why do you want to know its location in the forbidden tavern location in Karish Kagal? Uh, Wait, what? Um, because it sounds like he could use a friend. He has friends! Jaguar Quinn, objection, hearsay. (laughs) 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 Was that the... Was that the uh, location that we discovered before? Just asking out of character. Yes. Be sure. Okay. The one where we found the like chairs with all the initials and stuff. Yes, that's exactly right. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Um cool. Um, so what what is what's going on here right now at this at this convention, handing out the cards? What's your master's plan here? The master's plan? It is an evil, vile one that I could not be more proud of. The machinations that it took to get to this point. We hand out all of the cards. They are imbued with the energy of our fire elemental at our disposal. As each card hands over to the insignificant target, their mind slightly sheened over. So they become more easily persuaded and then and then we have them stand at specific points the more cards the more points and then we summon him using their divinity and magics and whatever heals them aids them makes them grow into beings of power we use that we consume that and we burn this place to the ground I mean, you could have just used, like, a pack of matches or something. This is a forest. It's all going to go up real fast. (laughs) I didn't think of matches. I'm sorry. You know, it's, uh, you know, phosphorus and whatnot. You know, sometimes we like to do things with, like, a little bit of a flare, right? Flare. Uh Uh Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I mean, I'm going to magic tree burn. burn. Uh, Roll a... um, Forest check. Uh, nature check. Oh. Nature? <laughs> <laughs> Forest check. Ten? Ten? Um, as far as you're aware, it won't, it won't burn easily. It probably would take, since it's a magic tree, it probably would take some magic fire to do it. Yeah, so matches, matches wouldn't be great. Um, just for for the sake of you know common decency, what's the name of your fire elemental friend? Uh, where did my Imgur? I M J U R Imgur. Cool. And uh, how many of these cards have you handed out already? I have lost track. Because I can mm. only count to 12. Okay. 
How more many, than 12. If you count it to 12, yeah. How many 12s? 12 twelves, at least. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not here to keep track of how many cards the mistress hands out. I am here to imbue them with the energy at the will of my mistress. So what happens if we squish you? And you can, like, see, like, this crisis go across the <laughs> side of the space. Well, um... A lot of my, a lot of my knowledge would be gone. You, you, you wouldn't want to lose out on all of this knowledge. I have s- eons of experience and magic. You all look magic users. You could use a, a grimoire, I'm sure. Okay, but if we don't squish you, and all these people spread out to their specific points, and the quarry tree gets set on magical fire. We haven't really helped anyone, have we? Is there a way we can communicate with the uh, fire elemental and like convince it that we'll save it and have it not light everything on fire? Not really. I mean, that's why that's why I asked its name. I mean, not really, because like again, he's in our domain kind of space. You know, it's it's not necessarily its own plane, but it's definitely like this tiny little realm that that uh, that we created so probably not so much um listen if i i if you're wanting to save people i have spells that could save people i have spells that could potentially undo this i could tell you're not willing to buy it all right okay <laughs> i was going to say insight check of <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Just, I, I appreciate the fact that you have a lot of knowledge and a lot of knowledge that all of us would probably like to know, but I don't want this tree to burn. Well, then look at me, druid. Know that the wheels have already begun to turn. We don't need many. We only need a few. The fires will grow, and the longer we are unwatched, unmatched, and unknown, our powers grow. Cool. So, you haven't really answered my question of what's stopping me from just stepping on you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like, he's adorable, but we could smush him. That's that's a good question. Um... Well, the spell's going to happen no matter what at this point. The, the, again, like I said, wheels turning, everything's already in motion, machinations, you know, f- clever things. Um, you could... So nothing? Nothing. No, no, you're absolutely right. I, But I do legitimately believe that, you know, I, we could partner together. Just saying. Maya's face is doing all of the communicating for me. <laughs> like, this is great. <laughs> I mean, sorry, buddy. I just... I I don't think I can trust you to actually help because you get really, really excited about the idea of all this, so... What if I said it wasn't my fault? What if I said that I am purely a reflection of my current uh, user. How do we change hands who your user is? Uh, it would take... Um, uh, I, I know the word for it in many other languages, but what's that thing? Attune! You have to attune! You have to attune to me. And I would take upon your um, behaviors? Morals? Goodwill towards men? I don't. But yes, that is how it. Uh, that's how it works. Who wants to attune to him? Well, I'll tell you right now. You must be a very significant and powerful sorcerer, wizard, or someone who can develop the powers of the universe within your fingertips. Oh, I'm good then. That's me. All right. <laughs> 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 yes. And holding the glass down 
I kind of want to lift it just ever so slightly, not enough that the full body could get out, yeah. but just lift it so that possibly the legs might start to be able to get out. Yeah. And, it, and then see if he starts to go for it. Yeah, Just like just one corner. Like, and as soon as one of the two of the legs are out, I'm just uh, going to put it back down. God, son of a... Oh, wow! Mm-hmm. That, that was a mm-hmm. lot of spells you just lost. That was uh-huh. so many spells. You have no... How? Holy... And like, as like... As the um, the limb is still like flinching in the way that like uh, any, any limb after severance goes, you see this purple blood come out from it. But it doesn't just look dark; it's purple, and it looks like starlight as it spills across the table. Not a lot, but just a, a thimbleful, really. And it even covers part of the glass on both sides. Just like look at how many spells that is. Do. You, I don't even know what spells we've lost, but we lost a lot of them in that one leg. Why do you think I have so many legs? Why do you think I'm so big? It has such cute blood, too. It's not cute. It is the powers of the universe. What if you lick it? He has so many legs because... I lick the blood. (laughs) (laughs) The answer is so no. Roll me a constitution saving throw, my friend. <laughs> Ten. You reach down, holding down the jar. You lick the blood, and it doesn't taste coppery. It doesn't taste like any blood that you've had before. It tastes like starlight. It's fizzy, and it burns kind of like a sourness in your mouth. And you lean back, and you can see the three of you that his eyes glaze over, and the gl- his the glaze is that same purpley starlight. Draxel, for the briefest of moments, you feel your entire being leave yourself. Your soul, your mind, and your heart all separate into three different creatures, all looking exactly like you, but you know that these are all different. And as you are looking around, you are no longer at the base of the Cory tree. You are now at the realm of the gods themselves. You see 12 pantheon-like chairs. You see the trickster god smiling down, his fingers laced together. You see the war goddess intrigued. They say no word. You see other gods, gods you don't even know the names to. And they all look down at you for the briefest of moments. And they all look so curious. (laughs) Ah. Am I still just like there? Yeah, there's three of you. Like, you see three different versions of the same point of view, essentially. Your mind, your heart, and your soul are all separate. So you have this id, you have this ego, and you have this this uh, logic behind you, all at three different points, and they're not communicating to each other, but you are aware that they are thinking their own individual thoughts. Okay. Okay, indeed, says a booming voice beyond the Pantheon chairs. Welcome, being of nothing. Okay, hi. How long do we get you, pretty little heart, soul, and mind? You step into our void, and you can taste divinity. (laughs) I don't really know here. How long do you get me? The... You you hear the, the trickster god go... Yes, my boy Draxel, welcome, welcome. <laughs> I've missed you. How, how, I, I just ate spider blood and I'm here. How did I get here? And the war goddess goes, you did not eat just any blood. You touched the source of everything. What? You have maybe a few more moments. Take this time. Think it through. 
you can ask divinity itself a question. Oh my god. <laughs> this is not good for this character. <laughs> Trexel's just like, so what's up? <laughs> Tick tock, my boy. Tick tock. You have about mm, 30 seconds or so. This. That spider, can we still use it? Indeed. Can we use it? Indeed. You have it at your beck and call. If only the right person were to connect with it. Am I the right person? Goodbye. Ah, oh, no! And your whole being slams back into each other. Your heart, your mind, your soul. All three individuals slam like a train wreck back into yourself. And you find yourself thrown into your body. You never moved, but you feel like you've traveled eons. You feel like you have traveled the depths of space on your feet alone. For everybody else, this was half of a second. You saw his eyes glaze over, and he like fell dramatically really hard into the table <laughs> hard enough that the table cracks oh my gosh i'm gonna scramble and try to make sure the glass stays on the Me spider too. <laughs> perfect so like you both are like ah and yeah the glass even cracks a little bit under the weight of him like slamming down onto the <laughs> table it's not broken but you can see that it's cracked <laughs> Daxel, don't do ideas yeah. that i say <laughs> <laughs> Maybe don't lick grimoire blood. Um, oh my god, you guys. I just saw the face of the gods. <laughs> oh, someone's been on a trip. Uh, yeah. I don't know if that was a trip. Look to the spider. We can use you. Was I lying? Of course I wasn't lying. How I don't know that you're not lying. I, you're an untrustworthy spider. Would I lie? I don't know. You seem to be like all joyous about this evil plan to burn the forest down. Yeah, like why would you lie? Why would you burn down a quarry tree? I am a mirror to my owner. Yeah. Okay, so make a bond with one of us instead. Yeah. I don't think that that guy is powerful enough to allow it. So, um, who else <sighs> wants to try? <laughs> I mean, I can give it a shot. Yeah, it what do I have to do? Okay, like before, before that, though, before we risk that kind of thing, when does this plan go into place? When? Yeah. Oh, it was planned for tonight. See, I'm interested in saving my own skin as well. If I'm not next to my master, then I'm going to die. But if I'm with a new master that has certain knowledge... I can make sure that my life is safe as well. What knowledge do you need? What knowledge do I need? I have the knowledge. I am the knowledge. Do all of us need to lick his blood? <laughs> we just try like a group trip here. <laughs> uh, what, what did you see in that half second where... Mm. Hmm. I saw gods that I know and gods that I don't know and something else spoke. And they said that something could use, someone could use the spider. One of us and they wouldn't tell me who. I came back before. My bet's on Rain. He's the smartest. Uh-huh. It seems like a smart <laughs> thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so how do we make how do we make a bond with Spider Boy. Wait, okay, okay. You so maybe we could have Rain try and do it without licking you the blood. You licked the blood and then you saw the face of the gods and you mm -hmm. got to talk to them. Yeah. What if you licked the blood again? <laughs> yeah. We'll go back for round two. I don't know. We could try it. Oh. 
Mm. So I'd, I mean, I'd, they uh, they shot you out. Did he cracked the they table. Tell you who is the best person to make friends with the spider? Uh-huh. They said I got like one question. So if you licked the blood again, would you get another question? If this thing is so powerful, I'm going to take one of like little spider legs because they, they came off, right? Yeah, yeah. So like there's uh, there's a leg that's like uh, s- slowly stopping its twitch. Uh, uh, and usually to my the best of my understanding, you get like stronger when you eat things that are, you know, like you hunt and you eat meat and you get stronger. So I'm just going to eat one of the spider legs. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, um, <laughs> I don't. I don't think that's a good idea. Um, he already did it. He said he did yeah, it. You guys. I, oh done shoot. It. Um, oh shoot. Before we oh, do gosh. that, I, I do want to. You know. You know. Chat. Uh, Jaguar Quinn's been like for this whole time. Lick the cosmos. <laughs> taste the chaos. Become infinite. Uh, <laughs> and then to the response of like, what's what question would you ask? Would you rather have finger finger for toe uh, for tongues or tongues for fingers? Um, and in <laughs> response to Tallinn saying we should all, you know, do all of us need to lick his blood? What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> you consume the spider leg, Draxel. Gosh, you have that crunch. And it tastes like, at first, like a regular spider leg, right? Like, you've had insect before. It's a little bit more crunchy, a little bit more filling because of how large this creature is. Um, it's about as big as your hand. It's it's pretty large. And then once you get to, you'll get past that exoskeleton, it tastes the same. That starlight. His eyes fill the same. But this time, when you ascend, essentially... You are no longer three individual beings. You are whole. You are before them again, the 12 of the Pantheon. But you notice that there is this shadowy, large hand with pointed long nails that they look like they are dipped in blood, still dripping on each and every one of the chairs, the back of it. And you hear that voice again, Welcome back to divinity, child of the slither. What do you want of us? Once. Ability to be to be stronger. I want. I want to stop what's about to happen at the tree. And the large hand moves simultaneously, several of them. And you can see the trickster god is picked up and placed down before you. And the trickster god, he doesn't move. He doesn't blink. This is not like he's not scared. He's just satisfied the entire time. The war goddess, she's picked up and placed in front of you. The god of light is picked up and placed in front of you. What else can divinity give you? Wish to be a cleric of death and the hand over a chair that is a skull almost looks like there's flesh around the skull, bond with your wizard friend under the banner of death itself. Wish to be a pantheon of light is before you. Who else is a requirement for your need? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear that last little bit. Who else is a requirement for your need? I, I don't know. Well, then, I would hate to take this adventure from you. How about this? You have friends on the other side. Friends who may need your 
powers? Yes. You have consumed starlight. You have consumed what it means to be. Have before you. And these hands all pick up individual gods and place them before you. Have death. Have war. Have the trickster. Have nature. And have forge at your beck and call. And they, all the gods offer you their hand. And as you look down, it's not a series of hands. It's not the forge. It's not the death. It's not nature. The hands become one. And it's not like they're overlapping. There is one hand in front of you. Take our hand, they all say in unison. And we will be your domain at your beck and call. Reach up. Take their hand. You take their hand. Rain, Vea, and Tolan, in that half second, you see his scales light up. The cracks in between them as they overlay become this rainbow of colors. But not Roy G. Biv. You see blackness. You see fire. You see the green of life. You see tricks. You see war. Summon through his flesh. His eyes pulsate from color to color. He starts to scream. Draxel, you slam back into your body. The table breaks. The container stays perfectly still in the air. The spider is floating in the air. You are on the ground, and you are assaulted with voices in your head, Draxel, of the pantheon of God at your <coughs> call. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <sighs> How is the spider face? reacting to this? Smug. So <laughs> smug. <freaking> smug. <laughs> He's like, I freaking told you so kind of smug. Of like, fuck, come at me, you guys. Come on. <laughs> oh. Do it. Oh, I love you, this. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Ah. Uh. You wanna you yeah. wanna tell us why you're glowing? Oh crap, I'm glowing still. And as the as you kind of like become aware of it, your skin seems to dull back down to its regular lizard sheen. Okay. Did did you find out what you wanted to know? More questions than answers, really. And it's like a hand that picked up all of the gods. Like something's something else, like and some kind of more powerful thing. Hmm. Yeah. That, that's intense. They, they, they reached out their hand to me and I, I took their hand. Uh, okay. I, okay. I, I, I wanted to be able to stop what was going to happen tonight, but... Did they give you any any ideas on how we might do that? How to stop a fire elemental? Not really. Uh, did oh, you man. ask which one of us is good for the spider, or is it just you? Because, <laughs> like, you're glowing, right? So I'm guessing it went well. Did you Maybe. forget to ask? I, I forgot to ask that one. <laughs> Which one of us is best for you, man? <sighs> I love it when mortals play in realms they don't know. I mean, that was super fun. I loved it, not gonna lie. Mm. <laughs> I don't know if any of your friends can see this and like clearly is aware that like Vea has to be the translator for this, but they're right behind you at all times. Just 
commune with them. Ask them for their aid. They will come to you. They will help you. <laughs> ah, this is wonderful. Who else wants a piece of the grimoire that is the universe? Oh, I mean, should we, should we like cut you up and split you among us? By all means, child. Or like each of us take one of your legs. Plenty of me to go around. Who knows what the long-term side effects of this will be for your Draxel friend. I mean, Draxel, you want to ask people behind you? Are there people actually behind me? You look behind you. You feel the presence of the individual divinity. But they are not there. But you do kind of, like, reach into your magical self, the what you use to reach out to their power. And the commune spell is right at the back of your mind. Oh, okay. The commune spell being uh, you are able to ask three questions to your divinities. Um, in this instance, you can ask your small pantheon up to three questions. You could even specify which god you would like to communicate with. Oh, neat. So, and, and I, I'm capable of casting it right now? Yes. All right, did you guys have any other questions you wanted with this one? Uh-uh. Uh. Which one of us can, yeah, do the thing. A tune, um, and maybe how to stop a fire elemental, yes. Well, they can be asked, answered with a yes or a no. Oh. So asking an open-ended question might be a bit of a problem. Uh, well, point at each of us. Uh, uh, hmm. How do we get the most out of these questions? Uh... <sighs> and maybe if if one of us attunes to our new friend here, will that be enough to stop this fire? Ah. Get it yeah. one. I'll reach out. Okay. And actually ask that question that if one of us attunes to the grimoire can we stop this fire from happening and with a confident feeling in yourself you hear multiple voices laying over each other yeah, yes uh, that's creepy <laughs> that was well done David <laughs> yes If we defeat that one who is here, will that stop the fire, the cosplayer, the Junko? No. Is Rain here the best one to attune to the grimoire? I really feel like Rain's the best one. <laughs> and you kind of get this like annoyed kind of like feeling of just kind of like a I that's a that's a personal feeling kind of like uh, but you get this like Ooh, oh, I love the commune spell because it's so ambiguous. Um, you get you get this sense. You don't even get a word. You get this sense of 
best option, we'll say. Like this, that's the might be the best case for the the current situation <laughs> that you are in. Okay. All right, all right. All right, so yeah, they said yes, that if one of us attunes to this guy, that that's probably the best way to stop this fire. We don't necessarily have to take out the Junko. To, like, stop it. I don't know. Uh, if I wasn't sure if, like, she, someone passing it all out. So if, like, we stop her, we stop the whole thing. And Rain's probably the best one to do it. To stop the whole thing, or... Oh, to attune, to attune. Oh, to attune. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> to, to, to attune to our new friend here. Okay. Sweet. Okay. okay, how do we attune to our, your new friend? Is it just like a normal magic item? Uh, Rain, go ahead and roll me a arcana check. And give him hugs. <laughs> um, <laughs> 23. 23. To... Um, to get a new grimoire, essentially, a new spell book, it, it's kind of an annoying task for wizards because you kind of have to, like, throw the old one out um, or try and combine it with the new one. Um, it is a, a standard attunement kind of procedure, but it's going to come with a few difficulties. One of them is that you will combine your soul with this grimoire which will change how it acts. However, that will change its being as well. So it won't necessarily be a spider anymore. Um, you know with the 23, like, you might be able to provide some, some core materials for it to, like, change, or you can just provide, like, your imagination and it would be able to, like take on that a little bit and that's kind of why you're understanding like why it might have 12 legs instead of the standard eight because if something from its imagination saw this 12-legged spider maybe from like an anime that it saw one time um <laughs> it would probably take on that aspect or again you could provide it like core material and it would then become that thing you could what? make it the nine tail fox or Naruto. <laughs> <laughs> what happens to the core material? Do I know? Um, it becomes a part of it entirely. Um, okay. Much like how breaking off the leg, it was then like oh, now a weakness. It's now lost part of the spells. Um, if the core material, let's say, was like a piece of bark and you wanted it to be like an acorn or something. Um, if that piece of bark ever were to be broken whatever part of it is broken from the main core of it will be lost. It's mm. like a, if you were to rip spells out of a spell book. Okay. Um. Well, I pull out the Kintsugi skull, the crow skull that mm -hmm. I have. Ooh. And I'll use that to try to attune. You place down the skull. And again, that spot, the, the, the whole jar is just floating in place. There is an energy. You see the gold of the skull it, that's holding the skull together melt away. And you hear in your voice this, what Vea has been just trying to portray. You hear it now. You hear it loud and clear. And you hear... Welcome, new master. Oh, look at all the delicious secrets that are in your head. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. I will keep them safe. I am your subject now. And it slowly seems to, like, melt in the glass into that same purpley starlight galaxy and seems to slowly evaporate into a small little drop. And the drop shoots into the glass, shattering it and landing into the, the, the golden cracks. And it seems to build its body around this. Does it have a full body or is it just the raven skeleton? Um, you're asking like how much of the bones I put into it or like what I envision it to look like? Both. Um, 
So I just used the skull, but I guess I envision it looking like, an, I guess an oversized raven uh, with maybe like more wings than you'd expect. Mm -hmm. um, maybe like a third eye or something like that. So it's a little bit off kind of like the mm -hmm. spider was. Mm -hmm. um, maybe it has uh, like hints of the gold still in it, like on the ends of the feathers or maybe in the eyes. Beautiful. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> Um, I love so, that. <laughs> so it takes shape and forms and it becomes a much larger raven. You can see that it has like double wings. And just like you said, like the, the edges of all of the feathers have that glinting of gold. And as it slowly twists and turns, you recognize like a lot of your cantrips and a lot of your, your known spells that you're very comfortable with start to like recede out of your mind. You even like feel your spell book in your pouch getting thinner and lighter until it's gone. Hmm. And you are awash with new spells, with new enchantments and abilities that would take decades, hundreds of years even, for the average wizard to learn. Oh, snap. <laughs> and it looks at you and goes, Hello, boss. What do we need to do? Oh, cute. And that's where we're going to end today's session. Yay. Awesome. <laughs> that was quite a trip. <laughs> You're telling I me. Draxel's definitely. <laughs> Someone should look at Draxel <laughs> I I was a little bit worried that we broke the DM when Draxel <laughs> ate it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, oh man. Wow. Wow. Did not go the way that I thought it was going to go at all. <laughs> at all. I legitimately, Rain, when you said, I've got my book, I could just squish it in there. I was like, all right, cool. Yeah, you'll have like a really powerful spell if you do that because it's like blood will then make the sigils and whatnot that you need. I'm going to lick it. I'm going to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, uh, uh, I don't know how to handle that. I don't know. Uh, Draxel saw God twice. <laughs> he is the worst person to talk to a god. <laughs> I was like, oh, this For is best. great. Mechanically <laughs> speaking, Draxel, what you are now faced with is that you have these individual domains that you can call upon once per day and change oh. after a long rest. Oh, okay, so I can just swap domain? Yep. Is that what the, oh, okay. Yep. Oh, that is so cool. Specifically, oh. the death domain, the forge domain, the nature domain for your friends. And then the trickery domain is back as well as you Ooh. still have access to war domain. Ooh. Oh. That is so cool. Again, That's amazing. Day, you can make that change and you can pick it out. But when you commune, and you can commune as many times as you like, um, it is a uh, cantrip, essentially, at this point. Um, but it still has the caveat that every time that you try and commune, it still has that 25% chance that they're less likely to be able to respond to you. Mm. Okay. Oh, you guys are going to get so annoyed with me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rain, we'll definitely have to talk about how this changes your spells a little bit uh -huh. later. Um, but, yeah. This is this is exciting stuff. I did not Dang. expect any of that, you guys. Oh, this is such a <laughs> as Quinn says, great session. Wow. Yay, <laughs> this is oh. super good. Yay, good oh job, my gosh. David. Oh. Holy crap. Also, David doing the voices like the way you did that was so cool. <laughs> wow. <sighs> <sighs> All right, you guys. So um woo, thank you. Thank, thank, thank you, my players. Thank you for being as awesome as you are. Uh, thank you, audience, uh, Jaguar Quinn, for, for being so active in the chat. Um, I needed a nap after that. That was a <laughs> 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 um, so, uh Where can people follow you on, on the internet? Uh, Panon, you go first. Uh, I am at Panon on Instagram or the at Panon Nation on Twitter. Uh, Jazzy? Uh, Crimson Nova Cos on Twitter. Uh, V-Fire? At V-Fire Cosplay on 
uh, Instagram and uh, I, I run the Cosplay Stitch Twitter. Uh, and Dustin? At Skysteel R on Twitter, Skysteel Cosplay on Instagram. And you can follow me on Instagram at the Crestfinks or at Crestfinks on Twitter. Um, thank you guys for being at my table. Thank you to the audience who are listening to this in post. We love you all. Um, if you want to be a part of the action, you want to help uh, change everything, um, you are more than welcome to join our Patreon, patreon.com forward slash cosplay stitch. Um, but for now, thank you guys so much for, for being here. Um, and remember, may all of your roles at least be exciting. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>